Welcome to the short telegram app tutorial. In this video, you'll learn the do's and don'ts around telegram and actually how to use the app effectively. Now, if it's your very first time hearing about telegram or you've been suggested that you move on to telegram by uh, a friend, a family member, or a business associate. It's very simple to gain access to tele Telegram. All you got to do is go into your app store and you can find Telegram um, just by searching the word Telegram in the search bar. And this is the logo of Telegram. All you got to do is install it and it takes a couple minutes to get telegram on your phone now i've been using telegram for over two years uh, maybe even a little bit more and i absolutely love telegram uh, but took a little bit of time to you know refer people to it or also ask them to use it because i know a lot of people used whatsapp and uh, whatsapp is kind of the form of communication that most of us used and now with the new changes in security and policies, uh, it's a great time for everybody to move over to Telegram. So there's a couple of things that we need to go through just to help you understand how to utilize this app effectively and how to make sure that your security settings are also safe. All right, the first thing that you'll notice is when you go into Telegram, it will show you, um, you know, a page that looks like this. If you are in no groups, then obviously you won't be able to see any groups in your page, but you might see some friends or family of yours or people in your phone book who have downloaded Telegram and you'll see it right like this. Uh, you'll see their name here and uh, you'll be able to see who has recently just downloaded Telegram, all right? So as you know, we are part of the CFX Passive Income Revolution and uh, we have created this new group where all of our members are in. Now, the first thing I want you to do is hold down on the group and pin it to the top. So how you do this or, or what the reason of this is, is when you pin your groups at the top, then your top five groups will show right at the top before you see all your other messages and groups, all right? So if I were to go and find another group, for instance, this facts group, I hold down on it and at the top uh, tabs, you see there's a pin, there's a mute button and a delete button. All you gotta do is press the pin button and that will take it right to the top. So it's easy to access this group whenever you need to find information of it. If you want to unpin it, you simply do the same thing, all right? So this is how you basically work your way around the app. Uh, these are all the different channels, we call them at Telegram, they channels or groups. And these groups basically um, have great security and functionality, especially for admins and uh, administers of these groups. You can easily, um, you know, remove people, delete posts uh, of other people's and this kind of stuff, uh, something that WhatsApp, you know, never had in the past. And then what we need to make sure of is right here in the top left corner, you see a little tab that drops down the information, okay? Now you can add multiple accounts here at Telegram as long as you have multiple telephone numbers, all right? Because you gotta register those telephone numbers here. And uh, as you scroll down, you will notice that we have a settings tab, okay? If you click on the settings tab, you're able to change your profile picture right over here, okay? You can change your username as well if you'd like to change your username. You can put a few words about yourself in the bio. And uh, you can also take a look at your notifications and sounds. You know, do you want to switch off notifications? Do you want to enable them for certain channels or not? And then most importantly is your privacy and your settings, all right? So it's very important to check your privacy and settings. Most of its times it's set on default, but you can go over here, your phone number, you can share who you want to share your phone number with, all right? You can either set it to nobody, so nobody will be able to find your phone number on Telegram, or you can make it my contacts, or you can make it everybody, all right? It's all up to you.
this is what I love about uh, Telegram is the security features are very customizable. So even if Telegram can access information, you have the control to see who sees it or not. Last seen and online, you can change this information. If you log on, people can see when you were recently there, when is the last minutes or the last time you logged in, you can change this information right over here. Okay. And then you also have um, profile photo, who can see your profile photo, right? Forwarded messages, who can see your forwarded messages? Calls, groups, all right? Passcode lock, two-step verification, active sessions. There's a whole lot of uh, different things you can use um, and, and customize here at Telegram. This is why it makes it such an advanced intelligent app to use compared to your whatsapp all right you also have data and storage you know when do you want to uh, save images you can choose to make it only on wi-fi or you can use data and wi-fi as well all right folders devices and the telegram faq if you have any frequently asked questions that you'd like to go through so you can understand uh you know how is it different from whatsapp is one of the questions how old is telegram is it available on my advice uh, device all of these informations are right here in the telegram app all right so what i love most about telegram and as you can see all my new friends who are just basically downloading telegram right now or popping up right here at the top of my um my 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 chats so you can see goth gareth discovery he's my financial advisor has just downloaded uh telegram as well casey right these are all our cfx members who are busy downloading telegram so you can see as soon as they've downloaded it'll give you a notification that hey gareth or somebody has uh downloaded telegram and you can easily reach out to them say hey welcome to telegram or you just know that they have the app now all right now one of the cool things about telegram that i love are the telegram groups that you can get access to so this is one of my favorite groups it's called traders in library and this traders in library is jam packed with only forex and trading ebooks all right look how beautiful this is i mean uh, there's a world of information a world of knowledge right here at your fingertips with telegram and you can easily find these groups by either searching in the tabs or by having it referred to by somebody okay look at this one motivation uh little video clips all right now this is also great for you to find content to share on your social media like facebook instagram and all your other different platforms and uh you, you're able to use this information uh on on multiple platforms as well so as you can see you know bruce's money machine this is a friend of mine who does forex as well um and uh, over here, I also have a lot of different Forex channels on this chat. So this is where I get all my Forex analysis. You know, I get my signal channels. Some of these are paid channels. So I've had paid a few hundred dollars to be in these, these channels. And uh, this is the beauty of Telegram. It has so much diversity. There's uh, information for almost any um, industry. I mean, you can also get Udemy courses, you can get access to, uh, you name it, movies, ebooks, audios. We have so much access to information here. And this is why I love Telegram so much is because, you know, we can learn a lot on Telegram as well by just being a part of the platform. Now, one thing to, uh, you know, take note of is that some people might reach out to you on Telegram, okay? So maybe you in a similar group with them. Uh, maybe you, they found your number somebody somewhere, all right? Just be very cautious with the kind of people that reach out to you. If you do not know them personally and they're trying to 
pitch you some uh, financial service or some kind of product, you know, rather just block the person or delete them or tell them no thank you, you know, otherwise they can come become quite bothersome, all right? So it, it, it's all about using your own judgment and using your own common sense, you know? Um, any platform online, whether it's WhatsApp, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, you are gonna get spammers. You're gonna get people who are unscrupulous and might reach out to you and try and uh, sign you up into some kind of scam or, um, you know, maybe they do have a legitimate opportunity, but just be very cautious with, you know, who you're communicating with. Um, because especially on Telegram, uh, you know, there's a, there's, a, there's a lot of groups out there where people can get your information. So that's why it's very important to check your settings and uh, to, to make sure that not everybody is able to see your number and uh, you just you just uh, make it your friends your family your contacts are able to see and access your number through telegram and this will keep you know you safe from just people randomly messaging you all right so this is basically how telegram works guys um, if you have any questions or need any advice just simply drop a comment down below this video and i'll reach back to you as soon as i can so i hope you found this video valuable uh, take care and look out for other videos in our series